questions Hillary wanted asked and that they did indeed ask those questions. John Cornyn says that Congress was duped during her confirmation hearings. Uh, it's taken eight years, but a Republican senator has actually awakened here to complain about the obvious, meaning tricks of the trade employed by Democrats. But anyway, Catherine Harris at Fox has been reporting all day, uh, raising big questions about emails that indicate the Clinton camp got questions they wanted to have asked to Democrat senators during the Benghazi hearing. And the Democrat senators then used the very questions they were fed at the hearing because Mrs. Clinton had the pat answers ready to go. Hillary Clinton, in her FBI interview, said she was unable to recall things 39 times. There are, I, I think, a lot of, I don't know how to characterize them, small stories that could potentially get big or, or big stories out there that uh, are big only within a small universe of the, uh, of the media. You know, you realize, folks, we are a segregated media. We are a segregated country, and we have a segregated media. Uh, we have the, I don't know what, the conservative media, the new media, whatever, and we have the drive-bys, the old mainstream media. And they're still the big ones. They're still the majority media. And in fact, the uh, existence, starting in 1988, of this new media, of the conservative media, I think has hardened the drive-by and mainstream media. I think it's made them even uh, more biased and more openly biased, and more openly confrontational, and more openly supportive than they ever have been before. They used to be able to get away with the pretense of being objective and fair and down the middle. And with the rise of the new media, almost a, uh, a call to arms in the media in terms of competition, they were forced out of the foxhole and they had to expose themselves in the process of defending their turf. And so it has, has given the impression that the divide in the country extends even beyond the population and it includes now the, the media. I don't think that's new. I just think it has a new face or uh, a cloak has been lifted and people now see the mainstream media for what it always was. It was never objective, and it was never non-biased or unbiased, and it was never, quote-unquote, fair. What's, what's different about it, as I say, is they're open about who they are now, and they're unashamed because they're in a very competitive situation. But nevertheless, it's led to this segregated media and things that happen, things that get reported, not, not things that happen, the things that get reported in our media tend to stay there. They don't cross over to the mainstream media, such as Hillary's coughing. In fact, the mainstream media reaction to Hillary's coughing is, would you guys stop covering this? There's no story here. There's nothing to see here. Human beings cough. You're using this unfairly, and you're using this in a way that's not representative of the truth, and it's got to stop. You should just stop it. They have no intention of using it. So this segregated media remains what it is, and that even extends to social media. Sometimes there's crossover. Sometimes things that happen that are big here in our media do make it into the drive-bys, reluctantly so. But it's why so much of what you see on Fox you don't see on CNN or MSNBC or anywhere else. And the Hillary FBI interview and the FBI document dump is a classic example of this. The drive-by media and its related membership looked at all these documents that were released and dumped on uh, Friday of Labor Day weekend, and they say they are reporting. Get yours before this deal melts away. Listen, did not lie and does not lie, and that there isn't even a story here. 
There's not a story on Benghazi. There's not a story on the emails. There isn't anything. And everything you're hearing in the right wing media is all made up and trumped up. And you shouldn't believe any of it because it's all just partisan BS. That's what they're saying. They're saying there's nothing to see here. This proves that Hillary Clinton is the angel we have always thought she was. The document dump says that there's nothing to see here. Well, there are various lists. People have looked at the documents and have written lists. The ten things you had always remembered. You should always remember. The five things you should always remember. The ten things we should never forget about the Hillary Clinton document dump. And I have amassed and collected all of these. And I have a couple to share with you. The five most outrageous things Hillary Clinton said in her FBI interview. Number one, she cited... Her 2012 concussion as the reason she can't remember details of briefings during her transition out of office. Well, if she was unable to remember such things at the time, why was she at work? If this concussion was so bad, why was she allowed? Why was she permitted? Front and center on all of these issues if she had no idea what she was being told. If every briefing she got she can't remember, then why did she have the job? Shouldn't she have been on medical leave if this concussion was that bad? Anyway.